Hello everyone and welcome to Automotive History Through Diecast. Today we have a mail call from the Toy House. This is a Facebook group that I belong to that is an auction site. Uh, Monday through Thursday, 7.30 to 9.30 Central Time, he does an auction. First thing I got here was a Mopar showroom um, from 1997. I bought it just for this Super B, but the Super B has real riders, or Super, Super Bird. Here's a Dodge pickup that has real riders too. Nice racing deco, number two, maybe like a pace truck or something. And then it's got an RT10 Viper, but that does not have rear riders on it. But it's very nice, black with simple silver stripes. Almost pretty appropriate rims, like a deep dish five spoke. And then I don't know about you guys, but if there are certain cars that just remind me of my childhood. Um, they're a little bit older than I am because I had an older brother that was like five years older than me. So they were mostly his cars. But I remember this truck fighting over it. Who got to play with it? Because of the motorcycles in the back. Absolutely love this truck. And they just made a monster truck version of this. It doesn't have the motorcycles in the back, but it's the same paint scheme. And then these two Firebirds. I think we had the one with the gold rims. But these two Firebirds remember, remind me of childhood, Smoking the Bandit. I had to grab these. I'm going to take some pictures and send them to my brother. And then the last one was this rescue truck. It was a TV show we used to watch. I can't remember what it was called, but it was about paramedics. And this vehicle reminded me of that show. But yeah, these castings are all from the 70s. And then every now and again, something strange just catches my mind and I bid on it. This is a Hot Wheel. Obviously, it's not a 164th H1. Don't know where I'm going to put it, but I thought it was super cool. I think the flames is what attracted me. And then here's a car he did a wheel swap on. It's a Ferrari, but it's got racing, racing tires on it. Really deep dish back wheels. Here's the back that opens up. And then I got two more Real Rider Superbirds. Got this pink one. I have the pink one, but it's got red lines. So this will be a wheel variation. And then I got this green one with real riders on it. I don't have this one. One more to add to the collection. And then back in college, I had an 89 IROC, so I love IROCs. Um, little simple fact, depending on where the IROC is in the, on the door tells you what year it is. The closer to the front wheels the is like an 85, and the further you get back to the back wheels, that's the 89 and 90. So you got this nice yellow one, which was actually a color. And then this is more like a custom one. And then every night when you buy something, you get a ticket added in. And then he has a raffle at the end. And this week I actually won this Ferrari. It is Hot Wheels. Pretty cool. Again, don't know what I'm going to do with it, but... Got it for free. And 
And here's some old dragsters, red lines. These are real red line cars that I bought. I bought them cheap because they're not in great condition, but something about a car that's played with is appealing to me. And then he had a whole lot of 70 Camaros. And when you're at an auction, it's hard to, oh, I want that one, I want this one. So I wasn't sure what I had, so I just bought the whole lot. And if you look in the background, the doubles or the this extra color is in the background. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but every video I change the four cars in the background. This one's real nice. It's like a bronze or an orange color nice gray with two like a lime green and a, a lighter green but yeah I love 70 split nose Camaros here's one with a 70 meatball and some flames on it Another green one. I should have put these two together. This is what I mean when like color variations, I mean. It's the same decos and everything, just two different color variations. And then this is the black version of the red one in the background. And then there's the super treasure hunt of that. And then here's a fire version. Here's the flame version in the background is the black one I guess the black one's more hard to find which I already had so I already had the harder to find one and then the last four I got these are his customs he strips them polishes them paints them puts wheels on them and he only sells them for ten bucks and it's just amazing paint job he does on these things So, I got a couple Buicks and another 70 Camaro. And look at look at these two together. They're just really nice. And for ten dollars, I can't beat that. He takes requests. If you have a car you want, message him. And then this was a premium that he just did a wheel swap for me. Because I already had the premium, so I wanted different wheels on it. And then the last one is this Sony Camaro with these beautiful white rims. All right, that's all I got. Appreciate you stopping by. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.